Hey guys, it's Evan here from the Speed Dating Formula. I want to just go over a couple of misconceptions and myths that really need to be obliterated from your mind if you're going to succeed at speed dating events. Uh, these are some of the common ones that I've noticed that guys tend to have when they think about meeting women at speed dating. So myth number one is that most women who attend speed dating events are old, divorced, and come with a lot of baggage. This is complete and utter nonsense. And if you show me a guy who claims this, I'll show you a guy who is bitter from never having gotten any successful matches. Now, of course, some of the women who attend are going to be older. Some of the women may be divorced, and a few might even have some baggage. Who doesn't, right? But most speed dating events these days organize their events and organize their um, their meetups according to age. So if you're interested in older or younger women, you can choose an age group that best suits your particular taste. Now I'm going to tell you this. I'm just going to throw this out there. Younger women, in my experience, are much more picky and superficial than older women. So if you're really looking for a woman who's more open to connecting quickly without you having to put in much effort, well, an older woman really is the way to go. Myth number two, women who, is, w women who attend speed dating events are lonely, desperate, and emotionally unhealthy. Uh, this is totally wrong. Um, it, I, nothing could be further from the truth in my mind because most women who attend speed dating events are actually very well adjusted and down to earth. They just don't have the time in their life and the time in their schedule to meet men the old fashioned way. The majority the majority of women who are attending speed dating events have extremely busy schedules. They're highly intelligent women like doctors, nurses, lawyers, and teachers. And sure, occasionally you're going to get yourself a complete dud, but if you're looking for a woman who's independent and self-sufficient, then speed dating events really are the place to be. Myth number, myth number three is that the majority of women at speed dating events are just out with friends, having fun, and not really looking to meet anyone. Nothing could be further from the truth. Occasionally, occasionally you're going to get a couple of women who show up with the explicit intention of quote-unquote just having fun. But deep down, they secretly are hoping that, that they're going to get swept off their feet. And you can be that guy. You can be the guy that literally snaps her out of her negative, pessimistic trance of, you know, I'm never going to meet Mr. Right. And you can be that guy when you implement some of the strategies in my speed dating formula. So hopefully, hopefully some of these myths have been busted. And if you've been kind of thinking that, you know, if you've been kind of holding some of these myths as the truth, well, let me just tell you that um, really nothing could be further from the truth. And I hope that some of these myths have been busted for you. I, I encourage you to go out and start attending speed dating events just to kind of prove yourself wrong and prove this misconception wrong. Uh, anyways, I hope I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Check out the speeddatingformula.com. Grab yourself a copy of the formula and get out there and start meeting women today.